Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to day 10 of the 31 Days of Horror. DBougie86 here again. Now, the film I got for you guys today is a film from 2006. I had it in the collection for a while. Uh, always wanted to check it out. It was recommended to me by a few of my uh, peers. And that, of course, is titled Nightmare Man. Yes, I uh, finally got a chance to check out Nightmare Man. Uh, very interesting film. I'll get more into my thoughts on it in a minute. But uh, the main setup of Nightmare Man is we're introduced to our main ch character of Ellen, who, as we first meet her, her and her husband are kind of in the dumps where she's trying to have a baby and stuff with him. And uh, one day she ends up ordering a, what she thinks is a fertility mask, but I think the shipment got mixed up or something. And she ends up getting, like, uh, this uh, devil-like mask, as you can see on the cover there. And what ends up happening is uh, Ellen starts to have, like, these vivid nightmares of this deviled horned man coming to her. And saying that the nightmare man has taken over her body, pretty much. And uh, so what ends up happening after that is... Uh, Ellen's husband thinks that she needs psychiatric help, so she he ends up taking her up to the psychiatric ward. They're about to check her into the hospital, and their car breaks down, and then what ends up happening is he goes to get some gas, and unbeknownst, there's a masked assailant wearing a Nightmare Man mask chasing his wife. And this leads to uh, Ellen being chased by this man in the mask and uh what ends up happening is she ends up running into this uh house in the woods with a group of friends led by uh tiffany sheffitt's character of mia uh they're like celebrating like uh mia's uh friend's uh engagement pretty much so pretty much what ends up happening it ends up becoming like this stand on slasher uh to the very end where it takes some very interesting turns without going too far. Now, my thoughts on the film. Fun-ass movie, man. You know, I didn't know what to expect with this. Uh, I expected, like, something like a Freddy Krueger ripoff. Uh, it kind of had some nightmare logic within it. Like, in the very beginning, it wasn't too much. They played with, like, the nightmare thing in the beginning of the movie. But it didn't play through the whole movie, which... I did kind of like, and there was like this whole idea of like, with Ellen's character, is she insane, and is she like, telling the truth, and uh, I like how it plays out too, you know what I mean with that, uh, some fun kills in this one too, like some surprising ways that when the kills do happen, I wasn't suspecting when they would happen, which I do like, you know what I mean, you don't like in certain slasher areas where a killer is picking off victims, you could kind of tell where uh, victims are going to be picked off. It, it was kind of cool because I didn't actually know when it was going to be. Because that's a great thing about first-time experiences in my ideas. And uh, this one gets kind of batshit at the end, I won't lie. Uh, uh, really batshit crazy uh, without going too far into it. There's a cool cameo in this one by Richard Mall too. Uh, he comes at like a, like a small part in this. It was really cool to see him in this, too, because I remember him from, like, uh, Evil Speak and uh, numerous, of course, Night Court. It was really cool to see him, because I haven't seen him in, like, a later day movie in a while, so it was kind of cool to see him in this one. Uh, one of the things that I could say about this without giving too much away, there's this fucking funny, like, True for Dare scene where uh, they're playing, like, erotic True for Dare, and they make a... Tiffany Sheff is to a strip tease and uh, the other girl fakes an orgasm. It's pretty fucking funny as shit. I was fucking dying with that shit. But it was kind of cool too because it cut back from that to like uh, the actual chase thing that was happening with uh, Ellen's character through the woods before she actually got to the house too. Which I did like. And you know, like uh, for the acting, it's pretty okay. You know, Tiffany Sheffitz does a great job in the film. Uh, the chick who plays Ellen. Uh, she does very good with her character, too. I won't lie. Like, uh, what's her name in the film? Uh, Blythe Metz. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, she was 
crazy because her character went from being like quiet to like over the top to quiet again to over the top again it was kind of like a like that one like schizophrenic performance which makes sense when you watch the movie you know but uh, overall this is a fun ass movie guys if you're a fan of like uh slashers and you want to see a kind of like a slasher movie with like a different type of ending <laughs> you know uh, this movie did kind of remind me of another movie but if i tell you that movie you would kind of fucking spoil it but it was done in a different type of way too so uh you know yeah i fucking enjoyed nightmare man if i had to rate i'm gonna give it a solid eight out of ten this is a fun ass movie yeah fucking great stuff you know like some of the cinematography was kind of dark you know they could have lit some better scenes but it was kind of cool with like the nightmare man stuff you know like the killer in the woods because you didn't know if oh, did it, i see him you know but overall like some of the character shit was very dark lit but overall still a fun watch i really enjoyed this so if you haven't seen nightmare man i highly recommend it all right guys that's it for this review i'll be back tomorrow with another one for you guys so i'll see you then peace out